I'm at the North London home of interior designer Oliver Thomas, who you may know from the Great Interior Design Challenge. I know while I was watching the show, you got the odd glimmer of Oliver's home, so I just had to get an invite so I could have a proper snoop around his gaff. is a complete feast for the eyes, isn't it? I'm absolutely loving it. We've got wallpaper and cushions and you've not just got one rug, you've got two and we've got mirror and mirror. Why yes. just put one mirror on a, on a chimney breast? It's like mirror it first yeah. and put another one on top. So it's the layering, isn't yeah. it? So you've got a little bit of symmetry yeah. to make it look really grand and fabulous. But then, you know, you quirk you it up a it bit, up a loosen bit, yeah. it up a bit. Yeah, exactly. And also that, that friction between kind of sort of like, you know, you've got your, your little Jeff Coons dog next to a sort of a Regency mirror. Yeah, so, you, know, like, so you love that. It's very yeah. playful. Yeah. Like, first of all, I'm appreciating the cushion love. Yeah. So where do you get your cushions from? Got... So like some of them are made. Yeah. I've made them myself. So you've got things like House of Hackney here. And yeah, they're fabrics. Yeah. I was born a little behind you. Designers Guild here. And we've got geometric, leopard print, jungle print, embroidery going on. Like it's, it's a real mashup. You do it? have to kind of suss them out. You know, that doesn't work. Pull that one away, put another one in. I mean, I've tried to not have cushions. You know, really? How was uh, that for you? That was depressing. Yeah, for me. <laughs> I've got to talk about him. Where did he come from? He is incredible. He was a Christmas present from my sister. He's brilliant. But what I love is you've stuck him on the coffee table. Yeah. You know, again, the scale is so unexpected, isn't it? I'm spotting a little bit of Ikea here with the yeah. rug too. And again, a very strong, bold print. You know, you've, you've really got a very strong, courageous look. Yeah, I think, well, I think, you know, you balance, don't you, all this flounciness yeah. with a nice strong okay, geometry, Okay, to stop you? it becoming yeah. too feminine, yeah, exactly. you then, like, punch it up with yeah. some masculine prints. Well, I can't believe this is just it. I want to see the rest of your house. It's just a start. Yeah, I know. Are Come you, on. Are you Come I on. love it. <laughs> There's always something, isn't it? I mean, this really deep emerald green, Oliver, and it's, like, everywhere. It's even on the ceiling. I have to admit that, you know, emerald is one of my favourite colours. It's one of my go-to colours. Is I it? Do it's love very it. daring, though, yeah. isn't it? Like, I love the way the red pops against it. And, you know, your collection of blue and white china as well, the black and white prints. Everything looks really good mm. against it. But, like, check out the styling here. On the sideboard, vases, hydrangeas, oversized lamps. Well, I think sometimes people overlook hallways. Yeah, totally do. So they get so hung up on like, you know, having the most amazing kitchen or the most beautiful living room. And it's like, and then the, the the hallway or the foyers and stuff just become like a walkthrough. And yeah. it's like, you miss a trick there. When I walked in here, I was like, wow, I love it. I love being here. I felt, yeah, like this is a special place. Mm. That's what you've done with this space is you've made people feel special when they arrive in here through the interior design, that's what's so mm. genius. Oh, Oliver, this is amazing. This <laughs> wallpaper! Oh, it looks fantastic, but it's this wallpaper against that fabric, against this print, against these colours. Like, it's just such a mashup. I love it. Yeah, I just, well, the thing is, you know, with a, with a bedroom as well, you know, it's the first room you wake up in. Do you know what I mean? And that's really so key. So it sets the mood for the it day, does, isn't it? It does, you know? It's like, you. I want to be surrounded by something nice first thing in the morning. I feel know? like a Hollywood film star in here. <laughs> and to have so many cushions on the bed. It's quite American, isn't it, to have these lots and lots of layering. I mean, how does your partner feel about all these cushions having to go on the floor every well, the, night? The thing is, it's just become part of life now. <laughs> Before you get into bed, you know, it's like you've got to just sling them all on yeah. the floor. And but the colours you've chosen actually are quite relaxing. That very lovely, cool sort of china blue on the wall is rather restful and obviously all of this you're not really going to be looking at that no, are you when you're no, relaxing no. so that's I think how you can get away with having really bold print just make mm. sure it's behind you when yeah you're behind you exactly <laughs> yeah but you know that adds real power and impact to a room yeah. and also I'm loving the wide stripe at the window <laughs> is that an Ikea is that their Ikea fabric? that's the Ikea Brilliant. Fabric. which is like three or four pounds a meter or something yeah, isn't it four pounds yeah. Four pounds. It's, it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's like it makes such an impact with like mm. such a fraction of you know no money at all. But well, I love I yeah, love the on. blue. I was just about to say, but then you go and paint the window. Peacock blue. Yeah. <laughs> we see that's why you're so clever. You know, lots of people would just leave that white or it'd be similar colour to the wall colour. But that's like shocking electric blue. But against and, the black and, and, and white. And a tiny little bit of it as well, just a little moment of colour. Yeah. You know, I just think pop in it. this. Yeah. That, I got that from eBay, this mantelpiece. Oh my god, that really? Was, that was actually 20, 22 pounds, but 
we 22 had, quid! 22 quid, it's solid, it's solid wood, and um, we couldn't get it in the car. It wouldn't go in our car, so I said, and I took a saw with me. So you chopped it up? So I had to chop it in half, into three pieces, and the poor woman who I bought it from was out, she's like, you're going to chop it up, I'd rather not sell it. I was like, I bought it now, it's <laughs> mine, do you know what I mean? So I'll do what I want with it. So I cut it into three, but luckily you can't see yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, right, so you cut it, cut it here. Yeah, so it's... you can see just vaguely through there. Oh God, that's so good. And what was it, like a dark wood or something? Yeah, then we stripped it all back, just back to wood. And then it was a re then we painted it black because in here it was black. Right. And so you've done the dark thing then. Yeah, you've done had all that. Done, done all dark walls, black walls. Navy walls and dark, you know, dark red, and I've done the whole lot. And so now this, this is, is the refreshing. new lighter, brighter. Yeah. Okay, but using quite punchy, bright colours. Yeah. But they give you a nice feeling, you know. Like I said, it's a bedroom, and you know, I don't, I don't want to wake up. To, oh, do you know what I mean? Okay. It's like, come on. So the dark, the dark bedroom that wasn't so great for like no. getting going in the morning no. it was nice for night time to be yeah. tiring and stuff like that you know yeah. you've got to feel a bit like a mole <laughs> do the in terms of snuggling up to go to sleep but for, for day-to-day living and waking up and stuff i found i found it difficult it, didn't, it wasn't good for the mood no, no. it's interesting so color really affects yeah how we feel in this space course, doesn't it definitely oh this kitchen puts a massive smile on my face <laughs> wallpaper in the kitchen's genius isn't it you know, you don't see it very often, but... Um, Not often enough. It's just brilliant. So what inspired you to do such a large-scale banana leaf print yes. in your kitchen? If, if you'd have seen the kitchen when we first moved here, do you know what I mean? Like, it was just this brown box. So did you put this panelling up? Or was yeah, I've done all this. So done all that. It's all really, you know, tongue-in-cheek. And again, even though this is a kitchen, this feels not very utilitarian. You know, so you haven't treated this room as a typical no, kitchen no, which no. i love i think that's just pure genius it feels like a true extension of the other rooms in your house mm. yeah and then what's the story with these what a gorgeous color i mean you've obviously painted these a sort of lovely coral yeah these were in a junk shop and they were i think i got all four of them for 40 quid so a tenner each yeah and um yeah just um, they, they were just metal um, so I just painted them all up in coral and then we upholstered the seats. But again, this is a real signature look of yours, isn't it? I think this kind of slight... Again, it's sort of like the American decorators, you know, these punches of bright colour with the ikats and then, you know, you've got the pattern on the floor as well. It's kind of, there's a traditional element, but because of the choice of colour, it's really fun and yeah. modern. Again, it's that, that twist, isn't it? Yeah, and I, lo I love that, you know, of taking that something that's very traditional. You know, and, and not replicating something from a museum. Yeah, kind of right. Keep it, keep it well, especially when it cost you a tenner. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? You paint many exactly. blooming colours. Like, oh, <laughs> I think the paint cost me more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love it. So this isn't the average bathroom, is it? I mean, we've got wallpaper. We've got chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. There's <laughs> like mirrors and vases <laughs> and fabulousness. This is, you know, this is an exercise on um, pattern on pattern. Right. You know, that idea of kind of like, you know, so if you look the china, kind of it works with it and the blue and white you can. Yeah. And so there's obviously a blue and white theme going on Which here. Which kind of pulls it all together, even though you've got lots of different prints going yeah. on. Yeah. It's a, it's a way of decorating, isn't it, really? Mm. You know, sort of like actually choose a palette and just keep repeating it. Yeah. You know, but be, be aware, I think, of the scale and... It's hard to explain. It's like you want things to match, but they clearly can't match too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you've got, like you say, you've got scale. So the cat's quite bold, and then you've got the tile wallpaper, which is quite ditzy. But I love the way that the blue and white china almost is camouflaged yeah. against the wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah. And but then there's the gold and the orange, which you know contrast with the cool blue as well. So they sort of pop out, don't they? I think I think one of the themes as well. If you look at nearly all the rooms, there's always some gold somewhere. Right. There's some gold or some brass or some warm metals. And yeah. I don't, I don't know where that comes from because it's just you're just I drawn just love to it. it. Yeah. yeah. I just I know when everyone was going chrome and and all those chilly sort of metals and stuff, it just never did yeah. anything for me. Yeah. And the the gold's nice in a bathroom too, isn't it? Because it brings that warmth. And we're seeing you know we're seeing gold taps and brass. Mm. And I love them. Bathroom I love them. <laughs> so that'd be the next phase of you, yeah, it? Definitely. To redesign that and bring yeah. in even more gold. Yeah. Oh, watch this space. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was absolutely dying to come around your house. You know that after <laughs> I saw little glimpses on the TV show. And you haven't disappointed Oliver. It is really fabulous. And what I love as well is I can see that you just have real passion for what you do. And you just have fun, right? Mm. Like your house is sort of like complete playground, isn't it? Yeah, and that's, you know, you don't want to be uptight about interiors. You know, sometimes you just don't want to take yourself too seriously. Yeah. It's like, come on, you know, it's like, look on the lighter side of things sometimes. Yeah. 
All of it, I absolutely love your style and I've just adored being shown around your home. It's truly beautiful. And if I was in the market for an interior designer, you would most definitely be hired. And I've put Oliver's website in the description box below this video, so do check that out and make sure you comment, like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel.